it's so funny, like, when you just get, like, you're chilling with Shoko and you're talking with him, and then and then you just randomly hear someone say, You're getting owned by a 15-year-old! <laughs> but here we go, Aang versus Danny, Jellyfish Fields. This is actually a relatively big stage, maybe not, like, main platform-wise, but the top blast of this is actually the highest ceiling in this game. Uh, both of these characters are light, and, uh... I think both combo relatively sideways, so it's probably not gonna come into play that much. But oh, that actually it came into play right there. That would have killed. <laughs> it was so close. Like I, I saw, like you know, barely there towards the like top of the blast. I'm, I, I'm honestly surprised it didn't kill. Yeah, that's the power of jellyfish fields. That's exactly why I think this stage was chosen. Uh, but zero to death from Troco. Not taking any damage before, you know, getting stuck in a combo at the second stock. Uh, but, you can definitely see uh, that both of these players are doing, like, have been practicing so hard today, making sure that they are actually super ready for this tournament. Just, like, a great movement here from both players. Kudo able to close out that stock. Um, you know, luckily it didn't, didn't take too much percent in between, but... You know what's the thing with cartoons? Look at the size difference between these two characters. <laughs> the proportions are so different. Uh, the, 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 like, the sizes in this game are um, something else. Uh, some of them don't really make sense. Sometimes you think, but like, oh man, Nickelodeon really didn't know how big their own characters were, huh? Um, and then we just have to go like, yeah! Mm -hmm. <laughs> and move on. I, I, I will say, Yang, oh, oh, oh. Yang, uh, is a kid, so you would figure, you know, some, some oh yeah, size. these uh, these should probably both be like similar size ish, which they are, uh, but like they're I think they're about as tall as April is, okay. so it's like uh, so like it doesn't really it doesn't change too much in size, and I'm like yeah, like Danny is like 14. Oh, well, that that's health for yeah, Wait, that's some some crazy movement right there. So teleport is a landing hitbox and really low ending lag for some reason because of a I think it's because of a bug that it has that. So in this current patch, you can do de up special on the ground into the ground into another up special into the ground and actually kind of like make it like a multi shine esque thing. Okay, but uh, unfortunately, it sounds like it is identified as a bug. <laughs> it, it is identified <laughs> as a bug. <laughs> might not be here uh, in the near future. But let's see, like, uh, it's, ooh, the, 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 the final hit actually barely did not connect on the fourth strong. Ooh, but that's going to work. Now, final stock for Kudo uh, on this first game. Troco is moving. Like, really, he's just going hard. Great catch there with the grab, trying to get that cancel. That would have been sick, but it did not connect. Now we see Kudo getting a little bit of a juggle, but caught off the side there. But the ca slime cancel able to keep Kudo alive. But Troco trying to get that coverage, not quite able to do it. Able to get the, what looks like an up tilt, but it's still either player's game here, even at 110%. Ooh, the grab though could kill off the top, tries to kill off the top, doesn't quite get it. Yeah, this is looking really rough for Kudo now. Like, he's a stock behind and basically dies in one hit. Troco, though, seems to be very, like, eager to get the kill. Throwing out, like, big options. Oh, but the wrong DI in the forward throw getting him killed at 140. You know, that's, like, obviously a light character, but definitely could have survived that. Yeah, this very has definitely been an interesting matchup, you know, having both very, really light characters. As you mentioned, having that very high ceiling, as we saw, it's just like, it, it's almost crazy in certain moments where you would have guessed that they'd be killing off the top, but DI is really huge in this game. Oh, for sure. Obviously, it, unlike most other platform fighters, uh, this game does have 14 DI instead of like, there's usually 16 to 18. Uh, but the game is definitely balanced around it and it actually the 14 DI makes the whole slime system and the slime combos feel so much nicer because you just start doing your combos like a lot easier and a lot like convert from these slime things so much better. Um, but it does mean that upwards combos are stronger for the most part because you cannot DI as far out. 
So characters that can follow you upwards uh, have, like, obviously a bit of an advantage there. But high ceilings like Jellyfish Fields can basically give you this, okay, I'm going to make sure that my opponent can't kill me this early now, maybe give myself an advantage, because the side blast zones are still relatively normal. Uh, I think most skills on this stage as well from these two players were off of the side, except for a few uh, reads at higher percentages. So after watching this, being able to see Danny Phantom a little bit more here and like all stars, you know, for all two, in terms of what, like, a lot of characters got little revamps in terms of their toolkit. Um, from your knowledge as a beta tester, who is the most similar to their Nick All-Star <laughs> 1 um, toolkit? I'd say it's, like, Jenny and April. Okay. Uh, April and Jenny are both specifically based off of their Nick Loading All-Star Brawl 1 appearance and uh, adapted upon because... They were just like, the, they were just, they felt like these characters already. They already had their own unique mechanics or their unique functions, and they wanted to transition that into Nazbi 2, uh, which means their playstyles are relatively similar as well as their toolkit, but they still have their own separate stuff. Well, I've seen an interesting stage pick here. It, so, are there, is there a bit of a slight slant there towards the center of the stage? Yes, there's actually a slant there in the middle of the stage. Uh, it's not too obtrusive. Uh, it's a little bit like you gotta watch out when wave dashing down the slope though because it there's some, some wackiness going around there But apart from that everything else looks uh, ooh, Okay, ooh. Oh, oh my goodness no. Still able to get the stock there Croco, but already immediately we're seeing Kudo get a little bit of a combo making up that percent difference here both re well, relatively like characters, but having the stock lead like this, Troco's looking at a pretty good spot right now. Yeah, that, uh, so the, the one thing you gotta watch out in this stage, by the way, Danny Bug, this, he's not actually invincible. Um, the one thing you gotta watch out in this stage is that this stage is a relatively normally high stage, but the blast zones from Edge are super close. But you have to watch out to like not get comboed from the side, basically, from the edge of the platform. like. Towards the, uh, uh, oh, towards Ooh, the side blast zone. Almost thought like we were gonna see a reversal there. I didn't want to comment over there about the uh, slants in the center stage. I feel like this would lead to really interesting tech situations. Maybe able to get certain combos a lot easier from the tech chases. Oh yeah, for sure. Like sometimes there are the characters that are like. Uh, that could like wave dash uh, or that would be able to like keep their momentum going down obviously because you know you can do some weird stuff with that as well as the fact that the platforms are slightly slanted too so the platforms are lower uh, on the higher parts of the platform or sorry are, the platforms are lower on the higher parts of the main platform than uh, and are higher on the lower parts of the main platform if that makes sense it's a bit hard to explain but I, I so, kind of kind of get what you're saying. So it also helps. The so characters that have a lower jump height have a harder time reaching these platforms too, which could also be very significant. All right, Kudo needs to play really well here. Can't afford to lose this next stock here. Troco has been sitting pretty comfortable since taking those first few stocks here, and both characters being really light. This is going to be hard to do. Yeah, like, uh, obviously, like, all that Aang needs is one really big combo starter. Ooh, no. Yeah, now they're behind two stops. Uh, something you might have been noticing as well from Denny is Denny's canceling his back air into another move, allowing him to turn around mid-air. Oh! This is really close. <laughs> like, they, or, well, it's not close, but, like, that offstage interaction was really close. Um... Oh, oh, that would have been it. That would have unironically been it. <laughs> that would have actually been it. <laughs> uh, but this is like, yeah, Kudo, Kudo looking at a really rough spot. I... Ooh. Yeah, see how close it is? See how close the blast zone is to the edge of the, the, of the map here? Like, you have to really watch out. I don't think Troco needs the EX as strong, so you just want to make sure it kills, but like, instead, like, wasted a bar. Kudo's making a little bit of a comeback here. Does have to find that opening. 
trying to apply some sort of pressure, but we do see Troco over there on the side stage. We do see a little bit of a switch. Oh no, Kudo maintaining that stage control, trying to stall, trying to catch with that, what looks like a back air. But yeah, definitely still on the back foot, but nothing that can be beaten. He's barely been touched, but now it's... Don't that. fall into that. Yep. Thank you, Kudo. <laughs> nice patience. <laughs> Uh, oh no, the barely miss. Okay, okay. Oh, I, I thought the call out was there, but I, I guess it came out a little too early. Oh, jab oh. up strong. <laughs> we both stopped talking.